Doesn't want to land on the right side of this. He's turned it over. So a disappointing frame for Ryan Day, having done well to win the seventh. One. To get back in the match. Four snookers required. I'm not sure Ryan Day will come back. Well, he's thinking about it. And he has decided that he will have a go. It's highly unlikely he's going to turn things around here. Four snookers required. Well, <laughs> there's one of them. Well, Marco Fu's got plenty of leeway here with four snookers required, but good shot necessary to get out of the first one. is an opportunity to get tight behind the pink wants to keep the red on the table always to the chance of a free ball which would make life easier Rain day 16 well, he's played that pretty well and always trickier when the object ball is close to other balls because the likelihood of hitting one of those instead is that much greater it's still a very long shot for Ryan Day to turn this around, but he is in control of the table. That's a very good hit. It really is a very good hit from Marco Fu. Deliberately missed the red. He doesn't want to pot that because while it's on the table, the free ball is still a possibility. Although he might be in trouble after this one. He just caught it. Very nearly got the double kiss there. He's not got the snooker though. Got to be worth having a go at this. Had that disappeared, I'm sure Ryan Day wouldn't have got out of his chair. Has it got the legs? Not quite. Foul. Round day four. Well, no question of a miss, of course, because we're at the snooker's required stage, so no chance of the cue ball being replaced. Even with the extension, this is a bit of a stretch. being told off for leaving the arena while Ryan Day was sizing up his shot. Well, it is a very big target to get behind the brown, green and blue. Three 
three snookers still required. Mike Allett famously got five snookers once against John Parrott in the semi-finals of the Masters back in 1988. Parrott was on the brink of victory, actually celebrated victory, thinking he'd done enough. Allett played on, got the snookers and won. Well, so, round two down, two to go. What a frame this would be to win for Ryan Day. He's still the underdog, but you never know. Pretty good effort, this. Pretty good effort. Well, they'll take that. It's another snooker. Don't think it's too difficult to hit this time, although no, he should be able to hit this okay off one cushion oh, he's missed it well, that does change things three out of the four snookers, is it a free ball? looks like it might be got to be able to hit both sides of the red well, it must be a free ball, surely Ryan Day saying, of course it is. Of course it's a free ball. There's no way you can hit the... Well, not quite sure why it took Olivia Martil as long as it did there to award the free ball. It's very obviously a free ball. You've got a blue ball. 36 the difference, so he can elect the blue ball as the free ball, but snooker behind green and brown. Well, he's elected to pop the blue. So that counts as one. One. Of course, with the free ball, he no longer requires snookers. Four. He developed the red there. He might have cleared up to win. Thank you. So this frame Friday back in four. the balance. Incredible. Marco Fu was 100 to 1 on about 10 minutes ago. Now, no more than evens with the position of the colours. There's nothing safe. Be a horrible frame for Fu to lose and a terrific one for Day to steal. Another one. This is excellent stuff from Ryan Day. Oh. Now, not another free yes. ball, surely. Could be. Ryan Day well, that's even worse. That's even worse. This is extraordinary. What a turnaround here in this eighth frame. It looked an absolute certainty that Marco Fu was going to go. 5-3 up. Ryan Day needed four snookers. He thought long and hard in his chair before deciding to come back to the table to play for them. I bet, he, bet he's glad he did now. What a... One. So the yellow will respot. What is going through that guy's mind right now? I'm sure he can't believe that he's close to losing this frame, but Day needs to get good position on the yellow again here. Five. Eight. He needs all the remaining colours, the black off its spot, so it's not a gimme, this clearance. But you'd much rather be Ryan Day than Marco Fu right now. 
but he stood up to the pressure and this relatively simple black will win him a frame he had no right to win that is a quite incredible frame in this second semi-final Ryan Day needed one two three four snookers he got them with the help of a free ball and he's cleared up to steal a frame he looks certain to lose on the black and it's on as even at four 